In this video, we will solve two questions based on chain rule. After this, we will learn the concept of chain rule in detail. So, let us take our first question. 40 carpenters working 8 hours a day can make 20 chairs in 60 days. After 30 days, an order of 10 more chairs came. To complete the total work on time, how many more hours per day they will have to work? Here, we have more work to be completed in more hours per day. And, the number of persons remains same. You can better understand this question with the help of the following representation. 20 chairs can be completed in 60 days working 8 hours per day. And, the order of 10 chairs came after 30 days. So there are only 30 days left to complete this order and let us take with X hours per day work. So, if this is base, then, we need to find this. I can rewrite above question like this. 40 carpenters working 8 hours a day can make 20 chairs in 60 days. How many hours per day can the same number of carpenters make 10 chairs in 30 days? Now, you will find this question very easy. We can solve this question very easily with the help of this formula. M1, D1, H1, E1, over W1, is equal to M2, D2, H2, E2 over W2. Here M represents men, D days, H hours, E efficiency and W work. There is one more way in the fashion. You can write this formula in one line like this. You can include or exclude the terms of this formula as per the question. In this question, efficiency is not given. So we can use this formula. The number of men is same in both conditions. So we can exclude this from the formula. Now, simply we can use this formula. Here, we have, D160, H1 is 8, W2 is 10, D2 is 30, H2. We can take X and W1 is 20. Next, here 60 times 10 is 630 times 20 also 600. So we can cancel all these. And, we have X is equal to 8. Means to complete the 10 chairs in the 30 days. They have to work 8 hours more per day. And, 8 plus 8 equal to total 16 hours per day to complete all the chairs in the given time limit of 60 days. Now, I will explain why we are getting X equals 8 so that you can solve questions even faster. Here, the number of days is half, that is 30, and, the number of chairs or we can say work is also half. So, x is equal to 8, means no change, this way you can save some time. Now, let us take the second question. A garrison of 3,300 men has provisions for 32 days when supplied at the rate of 850 grams per head. At the end of seven days, a reinforcement arrives, and it is found that the provisions can last for 17 days more when supplied at the rate of 825 grams per head. What is the strength of the reinforcement? This is a case of inverse proportionality. Men and days are inversely proportional variables. So, if the number of men increases then the number of days decreases. Let us take x more men join after seven days. In the first case, when 3,300 men consume 850 grams per head then the provision can last for 32 days. But, here 3,300 men consume 850 grams for 7 days. Then some more men arrive, let us take X men arrive. So, now if 3,300 plus X men consume 825 grams per head then the provision can last for 17 days. So. In the second case we have the sum of 2. Here, we can apply this formula. M1, D1, E1 is equal to M2, D2, E2. Here, M1 is equal to 3300, D1 is equal to 32, and, E1 is equal to 850. Now, we will place the values. 3300 times 32 times 850 equal to 3300 times 7 times 850 plus 3300 plus x times 17 times 825. Next, transfer this to the left side. Now we can write, this, next, on the left side, 
take out 3,350 common. Next, 3,300 divided by 825 is equal to 4 and 850 divided by 17 is equal to 50. Now, on the left side, we have 4 times 25 times 50 that is equal to 5,000 and on the right side, we have 3,300 plus x. Now, we can find x. 5,000 minus 3,300 is equal to 1,700. Alternatively, we can exclude first 7 days, and this way we can save some time. Now, if 3,300 men consume 850 grams per head then provisions last for 32 minus 7 is equal to 25 days. And, if 3,300 plus X men consume 825 grams per head then provisions last for 17 days. Now, we can start our solution with this step to solve question faster. Remaining all the steps are the same. Now, we will understand the chain rule or unitary method. Directly proportional. Two variables are in direct proportion if each variable changes at the same rate. In other words, if two quantities are in direct proportion, as one increases or decreases, the other increases or decreases by the same percentage. Inversely proportional. If the product of the two variables is always a constant, the two are said to be inversely proportional. If one variable decreases with the increase in other variable and one variable increases with the decrease in other variable, let us take an example of direct proportionality. Let us take the price of 5 pence is rupees 50. Then, the price of 15 pence will be rupees 150. Here, we can see 50 is 10 times of 5 and 150 is 10 times of 15. In short, we can mention above this way. R is equal to K times P where R is amount, P number of pens and K is proportionality constant. And in above example K is 10. We can write R1 over P1 is equal to R2 over P2. And here we have 50 over 5 is equal to 150 over 15 is equal to 10. That is proportionality constant. Now this concept we can use in our current chapter, time and work. Here, work is directly proportional to number of men, days, hours and efficiency. And men days hours efficiency are together inversely proportional variables. So, we always multiply the inversely proportional variables and divide directly proportional variables. And, this way we get the following formula. Do you think maths is very tough, and biggest hurdle in your dream career, and problem is, your unsolved doubts, then, we have the best solution, we can make maths easier, faster, and, stronger for you, and, we can save your valuable, time, energy, and money. You can learn time saving smart short tricks, learn in the most friendly environment, discuss anything without any hesitation. Learn anything, anytime, you can better enjoy your learning, and life. You can start from scratch and learn all the concepts with idea generation, join our online course, and, come fall in love with maths. You can also learn the most effective exam tips and learning skills, that will make your life easier. Our course can help you to learn better and faster. Join one to one live class. You can see greater improvements in your mathematical skills and understanding, in just two weeks. Get selected in first attempt. Success is on the way. Forget, fear, forever. Insanely simple. Soylen, your dear dreams, dearest to us, you can contact us here, anytime. I hope you find this video very interesting and useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can help your friends by sharing this video with them. Sharing is caring.